Hello Libra! Welcome to your weekly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the week of November 27th through December 3rd. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, especially if this reading resonates with you. Um, and also you can check out your sun, moon, or rising sign placements if you want to get a more dynamic picture of what's going on this week. All right. So let's just get into it. What is the message coming through for Libra for this coming week? First card today is the Hierophant card. Okay, so this week may involve your association with a larger group of people. It could be uh, related to some sort of assistance or help involving this group. Okay, but we'll take a closer look. This could be, you know, it could be your, your uh, group of coworkers, right, where you work. Could be your school, it could be your church, lodge, temple, order, could be a charitable organization, some larger group of people that you associate with that um, may be either in need of some assistance or maybe offering you some sort of assistance this week. But let's lay out the rest of our Dove and Serpent spread and see what is going on. This is obviously going to include a mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. We're going to leave that right over here. And we're not going to look at that until the very end, so please stick around to the end of the video. And hopefully that card will uh, tie the reading together and, and give us the confirmation that we're looking for at the very end. Okay, so like I said, the first thing we see is this Hierophant card, and it's actually being crossed by this Queen of Discs. So two very earthy cards, right? I feel like this is uh, related in some way to your financial situation. Um, I think this may be that there is some financial help on its way to you, okay? The Hierophant card, a lot of the time, will, will indicate that there is some assistance that's being offered. There's some sort of help from this larger organization uh, or a larger group of people, right? Associates, co-workers, a uh, charitable organization, some sort of larger, larger group of people, right? that are um, offering you something, I think, in the financial realm. So in terms of finances or uh, help with the living situation, or something in the physical realm, okay? And I feel like this is kind of unsolicited. I think it's not something that you've been asking for. It's something that's just being offered, right? I'm feeling like this is just a very generous group or could be one person who is, you know, kind of representing that group that's offering some kind of help or assistance to you this week, right? And I feel like I feel like it's coming at a, a very good time for you. In the recent past, we see this Two of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of concern with you right now about your loved ones, about your family members. Uh, it feels to me like there, there's been a focus on this kind of love, especially as we start getting into winter and all of the holidays that are coming up. I feel like it's really... Uh, it's a time of year where a lot of us start to really consider where we are and we consider the needs of our loved ones and we consider how we can be of more assistance to other people and and take care of ourselves and our families, right? So I think this, um, I think these people have been on your mind lately, your, your loved ones, your family, right? The people that you have a very strong uh, emotional bond with, something that you've been, you've been thinking a lot about these other people lately right trying to do what you can to uh, to be there for them to support them to assist them to just celebrate them and to uh, to acknowledge the love that you all have and to really just have this kind of uh, bonding time together right I feel like that's kind of been a, a very important thing on your mind lately and that I, I think is what's bringing us to the current situation this week which is this um, this great association with this larger group of people that is bringing some sort of benefit. You know, I don't, I don't want to say it's like charity or like some sort of a gift, but they're bringing some sort of abundance into your life through this group of people. This could be, you know, you're, you're being offered a raise or a bonus or a promotion at work. It could be something through a charitable organization. It could be some sort of assistance from your church or your lodge or your temple. It could be uh, some kind of housing opened up uh, at your university, you know, something like that, where this larger group is is offering you something, right? Um, but I hesitate to call it charity, especially because we have the queen of discs here, which is showing that it's something that you've you've earned, something that you've worked for, 
Uh, it's not that you're just, you're asking for charity, but it's something that you've been uh, you've been doing the work, and you do deserve it, even if you're not you know asking for it or requesting it directly. Does that does that make sense? Uh, I think there's a there's a distinction there. And in the near future, coming off of this this week, like toward the end of the week, kind of thing, we have a four of wands, and I feel like this is the the wrapping up of this cycle. It's the um, this whatever this assistance is, whatever this uh, I, I want to say reward, but whatever this abundance is that you're receiving, I feel like it's really going to allow you to finally put an end to a certain situation or a certain cycle of your life, right? A certain phase of things. It's really going to allow you to like tie up these loose ends, find some closure with this certain is issue. I don't know. I don't know what exactly it is. Um, we do see a lot of major arcana cards here today. So I feel like this is really a very important time of your life, right? It's a very important week for you. Probably this whole season, the whole like few months surrounding this moment, I think have been very important for you. Maybe a lot of major changes, a lot of major growth, a lot of major development for you, uh, both on the physical plane and in terms of your spiritual work that you're doing, right? Your inner work. And with all of these major arcana cards, I feel like a lot is happening in your life and you in some ways are just feeling kind of uh, tossed around by the current, right? That you're just kind of at the mercy of the winds, uh, that there's not really a lot of uh, a lot of choice in the matter, right? You don't really have a whole heck of a lot to, to control here. A lot of it is just the circumstances uh, surrounding you. But I feel like this event uh, this uh, abundance that's coming into your life this week is going to allow you to put an end to some previous cycle, some previous phase or stage of your life, okay? And I think this is coming at the perfect time. Again, I, I said because we have a lot of concern over your, your love relationships, right? Your family, maybe your romantic partner. There's a lot of, um, there's, there's some issues there. There's some concern of some kind, right? And I say that, primarily because of the five of cups here. This is showing that there's some sort of uh, some sort of anxiety or worry involving your loved ones, okay? Your close friends, your family, maybe your romantic partner, etc. And I feel like this is why um, it's such an important time for this, this earth energy, this abundance, this physical uh, receiving of something. It's perfect time for this to come, right? Because there is a lot of this uh, kind of emotional concern with the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups here, showing that there's some sort of turmoil, some worry, some concern, right? Something's going on there that really uh, is affecting your emotions, and it's it's involving your your loved ones, your family, okay? And so this this abundance is coming at the at the right time. I see that it is going to allow you to move through this phase of your life, close off this cycle, tie off the loose ends, you know, and move on to the next the next stage of your life. Okay. So I feel like it's, it's a pretty big deal here. And now the next card that we see is at the bottom of the path of the dove. It is underneath everything. It's just beneath the surface. And again, it's another one of these kind of, um, you know, emotional cards. It's the lovers. It is, uh, in some ways, this, in some ways, this feeling that you, you almost have to make a choice, right? And I, I don't think the choice is actually going to be necessary, right? I think that uh, this is something that you've been concerned about. It's something maybe that's been at the back of your mind or just, just beneath the surface on a kind of subconscious level where you have maybe been worried that you might have to make a choice, right? That you might have to, um, you know, either sacrifice your, your own interests, your own needs for the, the, to, in order to support your, your family or your loved ones, uh, or that, and somehow you're going to have to make a very difficult decision for, for their benefit, right? Now, I don't want to get too specific. This could be any number of things. It could be just that you, um, you know, you're, you're going to sacrifice some of your spending in order to have more, for your family for the holidays, something like that, right? Um, but I feel like it might be a little bit more involved than that. It might be a little bit of a deeper issue, more emotionally charged 
than that, okay? But I see that there is this, uh, this kind of choice where you are going to choose your family over yourself every time, right? Your family comes first to you. And this could be, you know, literally your siblings, your parents, it could be your extended family, could be uh, your romantic partner um, and your extended family on that side. It could be your kids. It could be, you know, anybody that you consider family. It doesn't have to be blood relations either, you know. Um, but I feel like you are the type of person that is really willing and ready to make that difficult choice in order for those loved ones to have what they need. And even if it means that you have to take a little bit less, okay? I think that's a good way to put it. And that's what we've got the lover's card here. This is about kind of, you know, you're choosing, if you had to choose, you're going to choose your family or who you consider to be your family every time, all right? But the good news is, like I said, we've got this earth energy coming in. And this, I really think, is that abundance that you that you need. It's going to be a fantastic relief. Something that you, again, have earned. You've done the work for. Um, and now it's it's going to pay off. You're going to receive that abundance, right? It kind of in, in an unexpected way, although, like I said, you've earned it and you've done the work. So you're expecting it eventually. But I think it's going to kind of come as a surprise, you know, when this, this does take place. And again, it is because there is this concern uh, over your loved ones and your family. And this abundance coming in is going to allow you to move through this phase, get through this, uh, this step in your life. This cycle will be completed and you can move on to the next, the next thing, right? So this is going to close up this issue. And I'm just restating all of this because we're at the end of the path of the dove here and we're going to move over to the path of the serpent, which has its all major arcana cards. It's all heavyweight cards, major influence. Um, the cards here, the energy here, don't so much depend on your actions or your decisions. It seems like whatever you may choose to do, left or right, up or down, yes or no, this is the energy that's going to flow into your life, right? Or that is, is flowing now even. So it's nothing that you can really do to help it or hinder it. Um, the main the main consequence of your behavior is just how you're going to experience this energy. But this energy is coming, right? And first of all, we see this sun card, okay? And this is representing your general energy right now. And the sun card is, is bright and shining and warm and nurturing and protecting and caring. I think this is your vibe, honestly. And we've kind of already touched on that. This is your, this is your vibe with your, your family, with your loved ones. Blood family, chosen family, whatever. The people that you consider your family. This is you really wanting to be the, the shining light to them. To be uh, protecting, to be nurturing, to be their source of warmth and security and safety and abundance, right? And you really want to provide that for them the way this sun is providing for the other figures in this card, okay? And that's kind of your vibe right now. You really want to be generous. You want to give, give, give. Uh, of yourself, of your energy, of your resources, everything that the sun card, that the sun in general, right, in life represents as a symbol. I think this is your vibe. Now, um, the next card is in the position of how you are relating to other people right now. And we've got this moon card. So I feel like I feel like things are kind of fluctuating. Things kind of go um, hot and cold, up and down, yes or no, right and left with you, right? It's it's hard to really stay uh, focused and um, maybe stay with one type of energy, one just steady flow, right? You have that intention because we have the sun card here and the sun card is not wavering, right? And it's interesting that we have this juxtaposition, the sun and the moon, right? The sun is that the source of the light. It is the steady, always burning, always bright, never dims, never changes, is, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's eternal, right? It's ever shining. It's always, always bright, always warm, always, always hot, okay? But you also have to uh, recognize that you are subject to the ebb and flow of the moon, of your emotions, of your your perceptions of the way that you experience the world, right? And it is a challenge, I think, for all of us, really, 
to always be this steady, confident, cheerful, optimistic, uh, generous kind of uh, flowing energy, this eternal brightness, right? Because we all have, uh, we're all subject to the, the influence of the moon. And again, this is why I was saying that it's, it's not really about your choices or your behavior. This is just the energy that you have to deal with. Okay. And the main idea here is, uh, is your awareness of it and how you approach it, how you deal with it, how you are going to experience this energy because the energy is there. The moon is, is always going to be there in all of our lives. It's a, a fairly important planet in anyone's, uh, spiritual or, or psychological makeup, right? And so these fluctuations are going to happen to you. There is going to be uh, good days and bad days. There are going to be positive and negative feelings. And it's just a matter of dealing with those and moving on and trying to get through them and trying to always return to your main focus, your intention, your conscious will, which is to be this shining sun for your loved ones, for your family, blood family or chosen family, right? So we have to accept this moon in our life and the ebb and flow of these kinds of things. These, uh, you know, these events in the outer world that might be challenging or disheartening, uh, but also our own internal moods, they fluctuate, uh, you know, as everyone's, uh, I think, does. And so this is just something to be aware of, that there is, there is this juxtaposition of, of solar and lunar influences in your life right now, and you have to uh, you have to accept them both or, or accept the lunar influences, experience those, let those happen, let those pass, come back to the solar, the source, right? Which is your conscious intention in, in this situation, in this time of your life. Now, the next card that we have is in the position of some of your fears, worries, and concerns. I think this hermit is going to be causing you some, a little bit of concern, right? This is... Um, both a withdrawing from that that focused external life right it's it's kind of in some ways taking this solar light and cloaking it turning it inwards concealing it right dimming your brightness uh keeping all of that kind of energy and warmth and 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 brightness and light and all of that all of that fire uh keeping it inside concealing it cloaking it um from its expression in the outer world. And I think this is maybe part of this, uh, uh, this tendency to withdraw from, from situations or from circumstances. And I think it is an important factor in your, in your makeup, in your, your kind of spiritual energy. And it makes sense when we think about the path of the dove, where there is this concern going on right now. And, you know, thankfully we have this earth energy, this abundance that's coming in. Okay, this is the saving grace here. And um, I think that this is going to really brighten your, your solar disposition, right? It's going to really bring your focus back to this sun card. But we still have those lunar influences. We still have this tendency to withdraw, to uh, kind of cloak our light, conceal our brightness. Okay. And this may be literally this uh, tendency to self-isolate, to withdraw, to be a little bit more reserved, a little bit more uh, introverted, okay? And again, this is that kind of influence that, you know, you're not going to really have much control over. It's not something that you're deciding to do. Uh, it's just part of the energy in your life right now. And this really going into the colder months, right, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, it's getting colder. We're going into winter. The sun is moving further south. It's descending into the darkness, right? It's going going cold and dormant, at least from our earthy perspective, right? And that is leading to a little bit of this hermit energy. I think, myself included, I think we all kind of feel like a hermit in the, in the depths of winter, right? And that's just the energy that you're going to be dealing with. And I think that um, for you especially, it may be difficult to... Uh, to to see the sun, to feel the warmth and the brightness for yourself when you're in the depths of this hermit energy, okay? So what I'm trying to emphasize is that with the hermit energy, it's, it's still all about this light and this heat and this warmth and this protection and this love, but it's a little bit directed in you, right? It's directed toward you 
it's an inner light, an inner sun and brightness and warmth and heat and protection uh, that you have to recognize in yourself in order to not let this hermit energy really overpower things. Okay. Um, I'm trying to choose my words carefully uh, so as not to um, not to emphasize or, or overstate certain aspects of, of that energy, right? But it is, it is kind of that self-isolation. It is uh, a little bit of turning away from, from the external, turning away from that outer source of light and heat and warmth and protection, um, you know, especially in the winter time where it's not so obvious that it's still out there, you know? Um, but it, it, it's about recognizing that it's within, Okay, and I think that is what we're seeing with the moon card, with this lunar energy, where it's a fluctuation. Some days are brighter, some days are darker, right? Um, but we have to overcome this tendency to just kind of um, fall into a, a, a rut and, uh, and turn away from, from the things that we, uh, under normal circumstances would be completely <clears throat> focused on with this sun card, right? That radiating, that taking care of everyone and being that shining light and that source of heat and brightness and protection for our loved ones, right? So there's the tendency to kind of, to turn away from that, to withdraw. Now, the next card that we see on the path of the serpent is another solar card. This is, uh, this card rules the sign of Leo. And Leo's all about that sun, right? <clears throat> it's all about that solar energy. And this, I think, is a card that, that is showing that there are some choices that you can make. There are some, uh, some energies here that you have control over. And your behaviors, your decisions, your choices are going to make a difference here. And this is about the conscious intention, the focus. How are you going to choose to experience all of this energy? Well, this is the lust or the strength card. And this is that kind of confident Leo energy that is going to kind of fake it till they make it, right? With this solar energy, with this sun warmth and this radiance. You kind of have to uh, just be this consciously. Just try, just work toward it, right? And and fake it till you make it if you have to. I guess that's that's kind of what it comes down to. You have to will it into existence. You have to take control of that fiery energy, that solar fire, right? That radiance, that warmth, that confidence, that abundance, that generosity, that protective energy. And you just have to consciously activate that, even if your inner tendency is fluctuating like the moon and tending toward isolation, right? If you, if you feel yourself kind of going cold and dark, I think you have to just uh, kind of grab the, the lion by the tail here and, and force it a little bit. You know, it's about making that conscious effort to just try to, to tap into that solar fire, right? And I think this is, um, this is the choice that you can make in the end is, is how you're going to kind of grab that beast by the reins, uh, grab onto this solar energy and just kind of force it, right? Just make a, a conscious effort to activate that energy in your life, right? To overcome that moon and that hermit energy right now. All right. Uh, let's take a look now at this confirmation card because I'm curious what this is going to reveal to us or how this might tie both of these paths together. I think we could be looking at something like uh, nine of cups, maybe a ten of discs or pentacles would be would be fairly nice. Uh, I think an empress would serve us pretty well here, but we already have a lot of a lot of major arcana. Um, let's see, we've got we could do a little bit with some some more swords here, maybe with some communication, some outward flow, that kind of fresh air that we're that we we may be lacking a little bit in the the air department here. But let's see what that is. Wow, well, we've got that devil energy. We've got, you know, the, the Capricorn energy. And this is, you know, the sun at its furthest southern point in the, you know, the, the depths of winter, like right at the winter solstice. Um, you know, it's at its lowest point. And yet it still has this devil energy. It still has this heat and fire right and abundance and just and passion and lust and and this devil really is um 
someone who in those depths of winter, in the coldest, darkest time of year, the coldest, darkest days, now I'm talking emotionally and psychologically, as well as, you know, in the, the, the winter season, at least up here in the, the north, uh, but still has that connection with that, that solar fire, that spiritual fire right? This is that, that cardinal earth. It, it, this is that, that fiery aspect of the earth energy. And I think this really does tie things together because we're talking about the abundance of the earth energy coming in here, right? In that practical, probably financial or something kind of way. And then over here, we were talking about that fire, that solar energy, that heat and light and warmth, right? And then here with the devil card, we're connecting both of those paths right? You're connecting your fiery energy, this solar fire, this spiritual abundance and warmth and protection and energy, connecting that with this, uh, this abundance that's coming in on the, on the physical plane, this earth energy, okay? So I think that this earth energy is going to be a way for you to connect with this spiritual fire, this warmth, right? To overcome the lunar tides and this hermit tendency, and I think connecting with this fiery energy, activating it consciously, is going to assist you in utilizing this abundance of earth energy to complete this cycle. And this obviously is wands. This is a fire card too. So this is really uh, the segue to, you know, the bridge between these two uh, hemispheres, right? Uh, the corpus callosum, I think it's called. Um, it's just, it's that bridge between these two bodies, right? And, um, and I think it's perfectly represented by this devil energy. And so this really is finding that light and heat, finding that warmth and abundance, that energy, that passion, that lust in the coldest, darkest days, right? Psychologically, emotionally, and literally, you know, we're, we're getting there, especially here in the North. Um, Libra, thank you so much for letting me read for you today. We're going to take a look at this in the extended version of this reading. You can become a member to this channel by uh, clicking on the link that's down in the description box. Um, it's really a great way to support the channel. I think it's only $4.99 a month. You get all of the extended readings uh, and any other kind of bonus stuff that we may do in the future. Um, you might want to lock into that, that, uh, that tier now in case that does change. Uh, in the future, but you know, we, we like to do a five or 10 minute extended reading based on the energy that we see here today. And sometimes there's really some crazy stuff that comes out in those extendeds or something just completely new or unexpected. Um, kind of a lot of synchronicities happen in that extended reading that uh, really are based on all of this energy. And so I think it is, it is fairly important for, for you to see that if you can. And again, that's a great way to support the channel. And it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, so just to recap, this was your uh, weekly tarot forecast. Uh, this was for November 27th through December 3rd. We'll have another reading for you next week. Um, but please feel free to share this with your friends. Watch this video again if you need to. I know they, they tend to get kind of long sometimes. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching. If you have any suggestions, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What would you like to see here on the channel? Leave me some comments. Let me, do, let me know. Um, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today.